Hello and welcome back to Friday Spiritual Lectures. This week we've been examining the profound motto of I remain loyal to my own heart. Now this is a powerful declaration, it's not just a motto. It's a way of living that honours the deepest part of ourselves. Our heart, our divine centre of love. You know, life is such a whirlwind. whirlwind. It's really easy to wander away from our true path, you know, from the one that cements our place in the universe. Like actors in a play that we haven't written, we so often find ourselves wearing a mask, one that disguises our genuine feelings. We walk paths that don't align with our inner truths. We maintain relationships that deplete us rather than fulfil us. And we silence our voices, a voice that asks desperately to be heard. And this is a betrayal, not to others, but to ourselves. We end up hurting the person that is most important in our lives. The one person with whom we have to spend every moment. Us. Being true and loyal to our hearts is not just a way to remain happy or a way to live a purposeful life. But being loyal to our own hearts also creates a state of health. One in which we nurture our divine physical vessel that is our body. Our thoughts have a pivotal role in creating and maintaining health and vitality. And we do often need reminding that being true to ourselves is not just a spiritual practice. But it's a health imperative. When we betray our inner truth, we don't just hurt our minds, our emotions, we also hurt our bodies. But by honouring our heart and this amazing journey of self-healing, we can see the incredibly transformative power that happens when we face our deepest emotions and by doing so releasing our innermost traumas. The power of acknowledging truthfully what it is that our heart is telling us and how it wishes to respond journey of being loyal to our hearts allows us to tap into the vast healing potential within us. And conversely, the betrayal of our own needs and desires can lead us to a place of ill health and unhappiness. I know it's so easy to say that we need to live authentically. But how do we actually go about this when life is always encouraging us to put ourselves last? to ignore our own needs. How do we live more authentically? How can we ensure that the life we lead is not a betrayal of our own inner being, of our own light? Well, we can listen. We can spend time each day in silence with ourselves, just listening. No radio, no TV, no distractions. Just you and yourself. Listen, what does your body tell you? What feelings are you pushing aside? Meditation or even just a few moments of quiet can really help you connect with your inner voice. And when you find those feelings, honour them. When emotions arise, acknowledge them, don't push them away. Our emotions are messengers. And by listening to these messages, we stay true to our inner selves. If you feel joy, wonderful, embrace it. If you feel pain, don't run from it. Address it, face it, work with it. This is the path to healing and the way to living in peace with your own heart. Also begin exercising, speaking your truth. It's not just about being honest with others, but also with yourself. If something doesn't feel right, give yourself permission to say no. If you feel a passion rising to speak out about something, try it. Your voice you'll find is a powerful indicator of your truth. You can also align your actions with your values. Find out what truly matters to you. Does your life reflect these values? Make the changes where you need to. Living in alignment with our values is crucial to living authentically and to not betraying what your heart honours and values. Set boundaries. 
And this is essential. Setting a boundary protects your energy and your truth. A boundary helps you respect yourself and it helps you teach others to respect you too. Understand where your limits are, what line cannot be crossed. You need to figure them out and then make sure that you keep true to them. Assert them, apply them calmly and clearly. Also get help. Walking a path of truth can be challenging, especially when our old habits hang around and shout for attention really loudly. Surround yourself with people who support your journey of staying true to yourself, who want you to be happy. Find the people, the person, the relationship, which helps you stay true to your feelings. And as you go through this coming week, challenge yourself to not betray your own heart. Don't falsify your feelings, but instead act in ways that align with your deepest truths with what your heart says. To finish off, I'm going to quote the words of Maya Angelou. There is no greater agony than being, sorry, there's no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside of you. Let us not live with that agony. Let us tell our stories, live our truths and honour our divine centre of love. So thank you for being here with me today. I hope that you will walk your path according to your heart and that your life will be a true expression of your innermost being, of your innermost light. When you can be true to your innermost light, then your light shines brighter for all to see. And the world needs this right now. We need to come back to truth, to love, and if you stand up and do it, you give permission for others to do it. You give them encouragement and strength. Be the beacon that you need to be. I look forward very much to seeing you here again. Many light blessings to you all. Bye bye.